Core named Jaleese. Welcome everybody down to my top 10 Star Wars characters of all time. We're including the movies, TV shows, video games, to the canon of Disney, and the Legends canon. I'm going to have some honorable mentions, but let's say this everybody. If you really want the whole sequel trilogy, you know, Rey, Finn, Kylo Ren, those characters, my response to you is this. They are garbage, and they're going to stay in the fucking garbage. Worst characters of a Star Wars history, in my opinion. Of all movies, TV shows, video games, and lore. So, screw those fucking characters. Let's get some honorable mentions. Um, one I, had, I have four honorable mentions. One of them is uh, Mary Jade Skywalker. Former Empress Han, wife of Luke Skywalker, gave birth to his son, Ben Skywalker, and an excellent, excellent female badass. Worked for Emperor Palpatine. Fell in love with Luke Skywalker. What can I say about her? She's an ultimate badass. I just love Mary J. Skywalker. Love her. Next honorable mention is going to be Jaina Solo, the Sword of the Jedi. Jaina Solo, the daughter of Han Solo and Princess Leia. Uh, a sister to both Jason Solo and Anakin Solo. Jaina Solo is the ultimate badass. She is the Sword of the Jedi. She is the future of the Jedi Order. And one of the best parts of the Jedi Order. So yeah, Jaina Solo. Oh, and she was also trained a little bit by Boba Fett as well. Love it. Jaina Solo, another honorable mention. The last two honorable mentions I'm going to give to Darth Plagueis the Wise. I really enjoy Darth Plagueis the Wise. I really enjoy him as a character. I like him more than Empress Ed and Darth Sidious and all that stuff. But Darth Plagueis the Wise is just an amazing, an amazing character to me. I just really loved how he trained Emperor Palpatine, how he like, uh, created a life for, from the Force with the Minichlorians. And yes, it's used in this one. And I just absolutely love his character. I think he's a very interesting character. He may not be the most savage and all this stuff, but what I love about him was his knowledge of the Force and basically what he could do with his Force powers. I absolutely enjoyed Dark Play, just the wise the book. If only I, if only I could find it again. And my last honorable mention is Abeloff. If you don't know who Abeloff is, it, it took both Jedi Master Luke Skywalker working with a, 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 working with a secret Order of Sith to basically take her down. And they barely were able to do that. Abeloff is an ancient being that's been feasting off Jedis. I mean, if you look up her backstory, I'm not going to spoil too much, but she is an interesting freaking character. And a tragic character to me. Abeloff, last honorable mention. Now, let's start off with the top 10, everybody. Number 10 for me is Qui-Gon Jinn. Played beautifully by Liam Neeson. What do I love about him in canon or Legends canon? The fact is that he was trained by Count Dooku. And the, fa the fact is that he's not all the time, uh, like, uh, trying to uh, please or uh, to uh, appreciate the Jedi Council. He's always, like, somewhat against it. He sort of breaks the rules of the Jedi in many cases. And what I just love about Qui-Gon Jinn is just he sees things more for what they are. He doesn't believe there should always be rules and regulations. He follows the wills of the Force, woman, no matter what it may be. He is, a to me, a perfect master in many cases. He may not be the strongest Jedi, but he's wise beyond his years, and I and consider all Jedis are very much like Mace Windu or who have a straight up, stage, one straight set of mind of like how the Jedi should be ruled and all that stuff. Qui-Gon Jinn is a more lenient teacher that we all just love. So to me, Qui-Gon Jinn is number 10. I know a lot of people want uh, other characters to be higher, but to me, Qui-Gon Jinn, number 10. Number 9 is Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker. I know everyone's going to hate me for this. Why is Darth Vader not higher? Well, because I have read a lot of lore of Star Wars, both in Legends, Canon, and the actual Canon, and all that stuff, and Old Republic, and whatnot. Darth Vader's a great character. He wipes out the Jedi. Order 66. He, he does, goes to the Drake Jedi Purge, killing off Jedis. Uh, he's ultimately redeemed at the end by his son Luke Skywalker, and I just love Darth Vader. His, he is an embodiment of evil. He'll kill anything, anyone, anytime, any place. Darth Vader... Strikes fear into the heart of the galaxy. And I love Dark Vader. Number nine, Dark Vader. Number eight, I'm going to give to Dark Crate. Or Shard Head. You don't know who Dark Crate is? And if you're wondering, like, who the heck is he? i never seen the movies. Well, he was a former Jedi during the Clone Wars. A Shard Head. He, uh, he was a son of a Jedi. He fought uh, during the Clone Wars. And then he was also a Tusken Raider. Also... He fought against Obi-Wan Kenobi in, on Tatooine one time. And he survived all the way past the Skywalker time to become Darth Krayt 
Seth Lord. He has a whole branch of Seth. This is the guy that made Jason Solo turn to the dark side. This is the guy where this evil premonitions of a man sitting on the throne, an evil man. And Darth Krayt is the one. He faces uh, Luke Skywalker's ancestor, Kate Skywalker. This guy is brutal. This guy is embodiment of evil. And he's one of the best Sith Lords you're ever going to read about, ever going to uh, uh, even learn about to me. And either in Wikipedia, the books, whatever you want to say, get your sources from. Darth Krayt is a beast. And he's awesome. And the former Jedi turned Sith, what's not to love? So yeah, um, Darth Crate was number eight. Number seven, I'm gonna give to Galen Merrick, Star Killer. I, I love the Force Unleashed character. Uh, the Force Unleashed character. This character was the reason why the Red Blind uh, was around. People say, oh, he's overpowered as heck. He's so overpowered, and unlike Ray, who's the most who could be trained uh, instantly with the Force. But a little about Star uh, Killer or Gallimarek. He's a guy that he's a, he was taken by Darth Vader as a kid after Darth Vader killed his father, and he found out that Galen was good in, in the Force. He made him into Star Killer, train killing machine. He uh, he trained uh, Galen for since a young age to help develop his powers in the Force. He is sent uh, he sent Star Killer to attack freaking um uh, to attack for certain Jedi's one step at a time, one Jedi at a time. Go hunt them down. Kill them off to come powerful, more stronger. Root out the Rebel Alliance. Ultimately, he saves the Rebel Alliance, and the, his family's crest is the symbol for the Rebel Alliance. I love his character. Galen and Marek, Star Killer, number seven. An awesome character, an awesome Jedi, but an awesome human being. Number six, I'm going to give to the Dawn, Grand Admiral Dawn. This guy single handedly nearly got the Empire back on track after the events of the Death Star. If there's one person to take on the Yushabong, or there's one person to, to, to go after the Emperor, it's this guy. This guy nearly brought so much destruction to the galaxy. He brought so much strong ability to the Empire. This guy was a brilliant tactician in battle, and he was amazing as a character. I love his journey in the beginning with Outbound Flight, the book. I just really love his entire character. He is a complete mastermind. An amazing character. I, I just know I have no words to say how much I enjoy of his entire character. Just the mind and how intelligent he is and how he's able to think outthink his opponents. It's just what I love about Admiral Dawn. I know I'm butchering his name either Dawn or Drawn. But either way, love him. Number six, Admiral Drawn. Number five, I'm going to give to Jason Solo. Jason Solo or Darth Cadius. Or Cadius, whatever you want to call him. Um, Jason Solo. What I loved about him, he's the son of Han Solo, obviously. He had a he had a child, and the thing is, though, because of his child, he also because he saw it, uh, Jason Solo uh, turned to the dark side. He killed a certain character of the uh, of Luke Skywalker's family. He did that to go to the dark side, and, and ultimately, he was trained by Sif. He fought in the Yushavan War. He was tortured during the Yushavan War. He survived, um, and he ultimately, he, his daughter, who he did everything for, he wanted to create a war to end all wars, so, and ultimately, there would be peace throughout the galaxy. And during this one time, we saw, uh, not saw, but we read about that he has a, a, a vision of a dark future where a evil a evil person is taking over the drone, which is, it happens to be Darth Krayt from the actual canon. And from the Legends canon. And the thing is though with Jason Solo. He sees this moment. And he decides to make sure that whoever's on that drone. Is not going to be that guy. So he becomes a dark person. He altered the, the court the signs of events. And he, eventually he sees his daughter on the drone. Eventually he has to fight his own sister Jaina Solo. In a great fight. Uh, in a book that Lisa was. And the fact is uh, how he's the oldest of the uh, Solo children. How he feels guilty for what happens to his family in the past. Uh, went to his siblings and all that stuff. I just love Jason Solo as a character. He was one of the few Sith, and I'm going to use that term loosely as a Sith because technically he was a Sith, technically he was not. I mean, though he uh, had his yellow eyes and all this stuff, and he was able to have his own little force powers that were very Sith-like. He understand the greater good for a better world. And that's what I love about Jason Solo. Jason Solo, to me, is number five. I love him as a character. Love him. Number four, I'm going to give to Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker, not the freaking, um, oh god, the, Fred, oh god, last Jedi, get that shit away from me. Not that version, I'm including the movie version of the, uh, from him from the original trilogy to Legends canon. He rebuilt the Jedi Order, he let the Jedis marry. 
Kyle Katarn. I mean, his own son Ben uh, Ben Skywalker, his nephew, his nieces and nephews, Anakin Solo, Jason Solo, and, and Jaina Solo, become a, a leader for the Jedi Council. He was the Grand Master, right? Because Yoda was the Grand Master for his age. Luke Skywalker was the Grand Master for his. He fought during the Shivan War. He saw many things. He even returned to Hoth to see that Wampa that lost the arm. I mean, I just love Luke Skywalker in general in the canon. I mean, the Legends canon. I mean, he is an amazing character. He's a man who's just been through so much shit, and he's constantly fighting to preserve the New Republic, to preserve what's going on around, and I just love Luke Skywalker. Number, He's a true Jedi Master. He's a true uh, great Jedi, and I love him. Number four, Luke Skywalker. Number three, I'm going to give to Han Solo. I love the smuggler. I love Harrison Ford as him. I love his journey throughout, the during, after the return to Jedi, you know, the good version, not Force Freaking Awakens. Um, what I love about him, he builds relationship with Leia. He uh, loves his kids. The, uh, the death of certain family, me uh, certain family members and friends uh, just really shows how much shit he's been through. But how he continues to still fight and continues to go through in life and to be there for the people he loves to still be there. It's just amazing. I love Han Solo as a character. I just really love everything about him. And Han Solo, amazing character. Number three. Number two, but as mostly, but again, since I saw the movies of the original trailer, I probably wouldn't enjoy Han Solo as much. Uh, consider uh, if we're considering all Star Wars lore characters. I mean, he's a great character. It's just there's many other great characters as well, and that's debatable. But Han Solo is on my list because of Harrison Ford, for the most part. Number three, Han Solo. Number two is Revan, Darth Revan. This Jedi is a body of a true Sith. But a true Jedi. He's a perfect balance of both. Like Jason Soul, he didn't always listen. Like Qui Gon Jinn and like Jason Soul, he didn't always listen to the Jedi Council. He actually disobeyed rules. He became a Sith in order to preserve life, in order to stop more people from getting killed. Granted, he got a little more into the power. Yes, he got a little bit corrupt and all this stuff, but he ultimately was redeemed. He focused on himself. He did better for himself. And ultimately, he is one of the saviors of the galaxy. I love him and his relationship with, I for, I'm forgetting his apprentice, his best friend's name. I forgot his freaking name, but I just love Revan. As a Jedi, as a Sith, you name it, he's an amazing character. Easily one of the best characters of all time. And yeah, he kind of looks like Kylo Ren. Okay, that's enough of the sequel bashing. I mean, that sequel trilogy bashing. That's enough of Disney's canon bashing. No more. And my number one favorite Star Wars character of all time is still Obi-Wan Kenobi. He is embodiment of... A great Jedi. Yes, because of him, Dark Vader turned, turn, uh, Anakin Skywalker turned to the dark side in a sense. Could he done better? Yes. But what I love about him, he's a flawed human being. He admits to his mistakes. He tries to get redemption at the end by training Luke Skywalker. I, his journey through the Clone Wars to losing Qui-Gon Jinn to uh, having a love interest, I believe, as well. I just love Obi-Wan Kenobi. Whether it's the guy from the original trilogy or Anne McGregor, which I loved him in because of that. I love Obi-Wan Kenobi because of Anne McGregor, because of the prequel movies. And I just believe Obi-Wan is a pretty perfect example of a great Jedi. He is my favorite Jedi of all time. I know I'm a little bit being a little bit biased, but Obi-Wan Kenobi, you are my only hope. Number one, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So everyone, that is my basically top 10 Star Wars characters of all time from movies, TV shows, to lore, to expanded universe, to Legends canon. Or to Disney canon. What is your own personal top 10 everybody? What is your personal top 10 Star Wars entire characters? Let me know what y'all think everyone. Subscribe if you like. Discord down bottom link. Comment down below. Let me know. Respect my opinion. Respect yours. What is your own personal top 10 Star Wars characters of all time? Alright everyone. Name's Jalise. Signing off. Everybody. Bye bye.